start in child's pose. So separate the knees wide, relax your forehead, and let's tune in to the sound of the breath. So imagine that you are an onion, an onion that has five layers. And I want you to bring the awareness into the outer layer, which symbolizes the physical body. So what constitutes the physical body to you? So take a moment to perceive the physical body. Starting with the skin. the skin that it's the fabric of our whole being what protects us is our home it's always regenerating itself the limbs, the arms, the legs, the hands, the feet that allow us to move in space. The organs, the muscles, the bones, joints, the eyes, the ears, it constitutes the Anamaya Kosha. So we're going to nourish the Anamaya Kosha with this series. And so let's come to all fours on an inhale. And exhale back into child's pose. Inhale all fours. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, all fours, gaze forward. And exhale, child's pose. Inhale, all fours. Press the toes under to come into downward facing dog. Exhale. We'll stay here for one breath. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, bring your knees down, gaze forward. Full inhale, complete the inhale. Gaze forward and on the exhale, go back into downward facing dog. And this time we stay two breaths. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale, 
Inhale two. Exhale. Finish by pulling the navel in and on the next inhale, again, lower the knees down, gaze forward, complete the inhale. And exhale back to downward facing dog. This time we stay three breaths. Inhale one. Two. Three. And once again, bring your knees down. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now walk your feet to the front of the mat. Feet hip with distance apart from each other. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Now, on the inhale, come all the way up, standing, stretching the arms up, pulling the navel, navel in, feeling tall, light, lifting up, elevating up, and on the exhale, by pulling the navel in, lower down. And again, inhale, come all the way up. All the way up. Stretch, find the sides of your body, stretching up, exhale, lower down. Inhale up, press through your heels and toes, exhale, lower down. And last inhale to come up, stretch up and arms out by the sides, exhale, relax. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, step the feet back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward, and exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up and step it forward. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, lengthen. Gaze forward and keep the fingers framing your foot, your leg. And on the exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Stay here a little bit longer. About two breaths. One. Two. Inhale, come up. Again, exhale, fold. Now we stay three breaths. One, two, and three. Step the right foot back. Plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale. Inhale upward, exhale downward facing dog, empty your lungs, and inhale, lift the left leg up, and on the exhale, step it forward, straighten the leg, 
the front leg by pressing through your spider fingers, inhale, lengthen, gaze forward, pull the navel in, exhale, hinge from the hips, fold, inhale up, exhale, fold, stay here, two breaths, one, two, On the next inhale, come up again. On the exhale, fold. To hold it for three breaths. One. Two. Three. And then send the left foot back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step or jump to the front of your mat. Grab your big toes with his fingers. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Two more times, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Hands on your hips to come all the way up, inhale. And exhale, arms by the sides. On the next one, we're going to lift the arms up as we lift the heels up. So it's a balancing posture with the arms straight forward. Inhale, send the arms up. On your toes, lifting the heels up, using the toes. And exhale slowly without rushing it, lower the heels and the arms back to the sides. Now we're gonna come back up and we're gonna hold it for one breath at the top. Ready? Inhale up. Stay here. We begin with the exhale. Inhale. And on the next exhale, slowly, slowly, I know it's hard, lower down. It's hard to synchronize lowering down the heels at the same time as the arms, right? So it's great for your coordination. Let's do it again. This time we're gonna hold it for two breaths there, starting with the exhale up there. Because first we inhale and lift up. So the exhale as we stay here is one breath. Inhale, one. Exhale, two. Inhale, two. Keep lifting up. And on the exhale, lower down. So as you may notice, you also strengthening your calf muscles. Okay, so let's do it again. This time we hold it for three breaths at the top. There's a lot of work at the top. Inhale, come up. Pull the navel in from the core. One exhale. One inhale. Two exhale. La cavalerina. Two inhale. Three 
Exhale. One, <laughs> three, inhale. I almost lose it, lose it there. And exhale, lower everything down. It's a little bit more challenging when we start the breath on the exhale to count, right? <laughs> so we always start with the inhale for some reason. <laughs> okay, so the now inhale with your arms up and exhale, fold forward. Step the feet back to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna start this time with the left leg. So on the inhale, lift your left leg up. And then step the foot forward, exhale. Come up to warrior one, inhale. Open up to warrior two, exhale. And straighten the left leg, yes? So make space as if we are gonna go to triangle, trikonasana, but we're gonna hold it. So make sure you are creating enough space for your feet to find your balance. Feeling anchored, your shoulders are pressing down arms by the sides and we're going to lower down on the exhale bringing the left hand down right arm reaches up on the inhale mindfully very mindfully we come back up be mindful of the navel as it moves you and everything else just follows like like a starfish exhale lower down Maybe a little bit deeper, lower this time. Inhale up. Exhale down. That's it. Now stay here in your trikonasana as you always practice it, whether you have your palm down or on your fingertips. Now we're just gonna move the top arm. So you're gonna look at your hand and you're gonna follow your hand as your arm goes towards the crown of your head on the inhale. And on the exhale, we return the arm up, looking at the hand, that's one. And again, exhale, arm goes towards your crown of your head. And bring the arm up. And again, arm towards the crown of your head, feeling that line from your right hip all the way up to your fingers. And then come back up, looking at your palm, and slowly coming back up. Very nice. And helicopter the arms, step the feet back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale upward. And exhale, Dango facing dog. Lift the right leg up. And step the foot forward, exhale. To warrior one, inhale. And warrior two, exhale. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So find the position of your legs for triangle. Feet about three feet apart. Toes are pointing in the front. The left foot is almost in la diagonal or however you feel, the, the check that you left, your edge, the edge of your foot is parallel to the back of the mat, the edge, okay. Pull the navel in, arms by the sides, we're gonna lower down on the exhale, 
and then looking up inhale come back up exhale down look at your right hand as it comes down and then look up and again inhale come up and exhale So find your trikonasana, your triangle. Look up at your left palm. And on the inhale, stay here. On the exhale, bring the left arm across your ear. Looking at your palm. Inhale, look at your arm, come up. Exhale, look at your arm, come down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale come all the way up, arms to the sides, helicopter the arms and step the feet back to your Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale upward and exhale downward. Facing dog. And now bring your knees down and cross your ankle behind you and sit back. Okay, let's come laying down on our back we're gonna prepare for dolphin but first we come on our back and we're going to on the inhale we're gonna come into a bridge with the pelvis and hips up but also the arms the arms come up and back yes so Inhale, lift the pelvis, hips up, arms back, engage the navel. And on the exhale, slowly, mindfully, without rush, lower the arms, lower the hips down. We're going to do it again, but this time when we are at the top of our bridge, we're going to stay for one breath, okay? Ready, inhale up, hold it here, starting with the exhale, stay here, inhale, and on the exhale, we naturally come down mindfully. I dare you to go vertebrae by vertebrae, like, like a beautiful practice that I really like, a Tai Chi, something like that, like swimming, pretty mindfully. We're gonna do it again. This time, guess how many times we're gonna stay up? How many breaths? We're gonna hold it for two breaths, starting on the exhale. Okay, slowly come up. Pulling up, doing the work. Exhale, one. Inhale, one. Exhale, two. Inhale, two. And on the exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, together the arms and the hips at the same time, synchronized, come all the way down. Like they communicate with each other, the arms and the hips. Guess what? We're going to do it again, but this time we're going to hold it for three breaths. Here's the last one. Press into your heels and the feet. Inhale, come up. 
Hold it there. Start it on the exhale. One. Maybe with the next inhale, you can lift up even more. One. Exhale. Two. Imagine the block in between your thighs. Inhale two, the, the chin is tucked in. Exhale three. You want very strong glutes. This is where is that. Inhale three, keep pulling up towards the sky. And on the exhale, I dare you to go very slowly. Arms and hips slowly synchronized, dancing lower down. One by one vertebrae. <laughs> okay, release, beautiful. Check it, check it, check it if you need to. Okay, now we're going to do our, uh, hold on, I have it written, I have to check it. I almost forget. Ah, yes, this is where we're going to do dolphin. Yes, we prepared the, the body for dolphin, right? So come with your feet crossed and on all fours. So this is where, uh, if you have an advanced practice, you can do headstand or dolphin. We're gonna hold it for 13 breaths in any case, and I'm gonna stay quiet once we go up there because I don't wanna talk as I'm holding it. This is a challenging posture. So you bring your forearms down, interlace your fingers. Whether we're doing dolphin or headstand, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. There's no a lot of weight on the head. The head is just there. But it, it, people think that the weight is on the head and it's not. The weight is supported by the forearms and the strength of your shoulders. So, light on the head, just rest the crown of the head down. As you press through your forearms, you lift, you lift your hips up and you walk them one by one and this is where you can go to your uh, shoulder stand if you prefer I mean not shoulder stand your head stand engage the legs the legs are very very strong okay 13 breaths
Exhalen slowly. Bring your knees down. Relax the forehead. Extend your arms. And then slowly come to all fours, cross your ankles behind you, send your legs forward, and then come all the way down. And now you're going to lift your legs up for the variation one, or you can lift your hips up for shoulder stand, eight breaths, And then slowly lower back down, hug your knees, rock from side to side. Now we're going to cross the ankles, sit forward and lay down on our chest and belly bottom. Now, you're going to bring your hands behind you with the palms facing up, yes? This is your resting pose here. On the inhale, we're going to send the arms forward and lift up. Yes, on the exhale, again, lower down, arms back. We're gonna hold it for one breath at the top. Okay, ready? Inhale, lift up. Arms come forward. Sorry, little plant, I hit the plant. One exhale. One inhale. And on the exhale, lower down. I'm sorry I hit you. You know, I talk to my plants. Okay, let's do it one more time. Next one is two breaths. You guessed right. Ready? Inhale, lift up. Hold it here, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can do it. Inhale. And on the exhale, lower down and rest. We have one more. Ready? Guess how many times we're going to hold it at the top. How many breaths? Yes, three. Inhale up. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale, inhale lift, and on the exhale lower down, arms back, and relax. Relax, relax. Now, 
Bend the knees, grab the outside of your ankles. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up. Hold it, exhale. Inhale. On the next exhale, lower down. And again, ready, inhale, come up. Stay here, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. On the next exhale, lower down. Last one, we hold it for three breaths at the top. Ready? Go. Inhale. Hold it here, one. Exhale. Inhale. Two. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. And let's come to child's pose. In this child's pose, send your arms back just like we did in our supine. Palms are facing up on top of your spine. And now, we're gonna come standing on the inhale, on the knees. Inhale up, stretching up. Exhale, child's pose, arms back, palms facing up. Inhale up, stretch up, pull the navel in. Exhale, lower down. I know, it's tempting to rush it. I just noticed that I rushed mine. So let's go mindfully. Inhale, third one. Let's go slowly exhale, arms, navel in. And palms facing up and relax the arms. Remembering the concept. It's not what we do, but how we do what we do. Many people could do these exercises, but how are they doing them? Okay. So now uh, we're gonna do. After this, we're gonna. We need to do a twist. So come sitting on your heels and send your hips to sit and we're going to start with the left leg under left leg under bend the knee and the right foot goes on the outside of your thigh yes now find your neutral spine inhale extend the left arm up and Twist so that your elbow can come to touch the outside of your thigh. The right shoulder rolls over to the right. Press the shoulder down. Look far to the right side. Hold it here. And slowly release. Now we do the other side. So now the right leg is under. The left foot goes to the outside. Your right arm stretches up. And on the exhale, elbow to the thigh to create a little point to twist. Roll your left shoulder back and down. Now 
and slowly let that go. Now, after that, we have a folding forward. Separate the feet hip width distance apart from each other. Either try to grab your big toes or anywhere on the legs and fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. And exhale, fold, hold it. And slowly release, come all the way down on your back. Now we just have a panasana, which is uh, the posture where we grab the knees with right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee. And this is the inhale as we extend the arms and the knees are away from us. On the exhale, we bring the knees to the chest using the arm muscles. On the inhale, we send them far away. On the exhale, we bring them down to the chest. One more inhale. And exhale, hold the knees. Use your fingers, your knuckles and release arms to the sides and sway the knees from side to side and come to shavasana final relaxation palms are facing up take a breath in ah, yeah, 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 yeah. and a breath out <laughs> so our Shavasana is focused on the fifth layer, the kosha, fifth, fifth kosha, the anamaya kosha, the physical aspect of our being is the most obvious one and it is through this kosha that we are able to feed our being through food. <laughs> through food we feed it through water, drinking water, and uh, our daily intake of food, nourishing the food, and so the yogi takes care of this kosha by being mindfully aware of the food, eating food that is easy to digest, eating slowly, mindfully, just like we do this mindful asanas, postures, exercises, as we were practicing our bridge, synchronizing. Same thing when we eat, the yogi shoes a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to, not to just to to have a good digestion, but the yogi remembers that the stomach has no teeth. <laughs> so we try to digest from the mouth in the moment that we chew and we get to enjoy the flavors and 
a yogi not only enjoys the sweetness and the saltiness flavors, but understands that there are so many more flavors and tries to include them in the diet. Bitter, pungent, spicy. What else? I could name them, but ultimately it's how we taste, how many taste buds we have. Trying to do less of the sweet by incorporating more of the other ones. to keep a balance. American diets or Western diets right now focus so much higher percentage on sweets and saltiness than that we forget the other flavors. There's so, so many other flavors. And next time you eat something that is very bitter, if you have a sip of water, notice how the water becomes so sweet. Try it. Experiment. You have one life to experiment all these flavors <laughs> and yumminess. Anyways, too much talk about the food. Same thing with the with the drinks, right? Yes, keeping it balanced, flavorful textures, playing with the with the glasses, experiment pouring water into one of your most beautiful glasses that you may have. And notice how the experience changes when you drink water from your favorite glass. It changes its texture, the flavor, and the way we ingest water. What else? So resting, resting is a way to take care of our Anamaya Kosha. Exercising, not too much, not too little, just a perfectly balanced. Yogi understands also that pushing too much can be can become um, not helpful for our being. Sometimes going slower is best. Sometimes it's not. It's finding this midline, this center. Sometimes taking a walk in the park, being aware of the surroundings of the movement of the leaves of the trees, looking at the sky, the color of the sky, looking at people passing by, 
listening to the sound of the birds singing. the cars <laughs> driving all of these things may even be more beneficial than going for a quick run sometimes the quick run is better <laughs> so that's the mystery in the yogi life we try to learn about ourselves what works what doesn't work, listening to this Anamaya Kosha, paying attention, following the directions of the body, listening to the messages. Keep relaxing. Keep melting. Notice your arms, how heavy they've become, and your legs. Find the points that feel more grounded. And once you find those points, try to find the points that are not grounded and try to create a balance. If there is something that feels that is lifting away. Try to bring your whole weight to that part to create balance so that every part feels rooted and connected equally. For example, you may notice that one side feels more connected can you find out which side that is and once you find it and find the points of that side that are rooting down then try to bring a little bit of that weight over to the other side that feels less connected. So it's almost as if inside of us we have sand you may notice that the sand is fuller in one side and then you just try to disperse the whole sound evenly across the body so everything feels equally stable and your Anamaya Kosha can heal itself and restore itself. As I'm speaking, digestion is working so perfectly perfect the rhythm of your heartbeat is beating so perfectly perfect and your lungs are breathing you in and out perfectly perfect as i speak your liver is working as a filter for the body The 
de estómago. You may notice that the muscles are nourishing themselves as you relax. Your bones and joints and the fabric around them. All of your senses are, believe it or not, they are increasing their perception. Every time that you practice these postures of meditation, you deepen your senses. Every time We do the opposite, like uh, something that we know that it may not be good. <laughs> um, it might be the opposite, but right now we are deepening our senses. Yes, even though the yogi withdraws from the senses and the sensory objects, surprisingly also senses even more with the practice of yoga. So you always have these opposites. All right, feel free to stay here or to come out of this posture, begin to wiggle the toes and the fingers, the head, right and left, arms back, bring your knees to your chest, roll over to your right side, and then slowly coming back to our seat. And we can uh, rest the hand, one hand on top of the other. I'm not going to keep you any longer here. Um, I just want to teach you a very nice practice, a breathing practice. If you feel very relaxed right now, then uh, if you want to feel more energy to resume the activities in your day, Let's just do, uh, no, not long, about two minutes of uh, an exercise, a breathing exercise that I've never taught you in these um, online classes yet. But um, it's very nice. So what we do is we inhale, and you know how to inhale, expand the belly button and the chest. But when you inhale, Try to not to use your whole lung capacity, maybe about 75% or even less if you need to. We're gonna hold the inhale. As we hold it, we're gonna take little, little sips of inhales and exhales. That's what we do. So let's do it together. Inhale. Not all the way up, just about 75%. And then stay here as you take a little sip of inhale through the nose and a little sip of exhale through the nose. And again, without exhaling completely, keep going, little inhales, little exhales. About five. 
and then exhale fully. Okay, let's take one just regular breath. This exercise allows us to feel that sense as if we're floating in space, as if we were levitating, floating <laughs> against gravity. So let's try it again. When you inhale, you can do 50% or 75%. Ready? Inhale. And we hold it here for five little breaths as we hold it. Inhale and exhale, five. Inhale and exhale, four. Inhale and exhale, three. Inhale and exhale, two. Inhale and exhale, one. And exhale fully. So there you go. This is the breathing exercise. It gives you energy. It, it makes you feel like you feel light and you're just floating in space. So when you start walking back into your regular activities, you feel like you're floating, okay? Enjoy the palms together. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Click like on the bell button to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Hit the like button, share, comment, and keep on loving. Remember that the world opens when you are open.